hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to start a new tutorial new tutorial series on uh, catalan studio it is the first video so uh, catalan studio is open source studio and great uh, alternative of selenium and it's a growing day by day and uh, mostly used for automation so i'm starting a tutorial on this so this is my introduction uh, video with Catalan. So why Catalan is going to be famous uh, too much? So you can visit the code1.com. I will provide the link in the description box. You can read the complete article on the why Catalan is uh, necessary these days. And uh, if we talk about the programming language, so Catalan is not need that much programming knowledge because it's uh, completely using that uh, GUI part very strongly. And uh, if we talk about the report. Uh, management system it's uh, providing a uh, lots of uh, way to uh, generate re report like html csv and pdf and different different format we can easily generate the report and uh, data driven testing if you talk about the testing when we are going to uh, import a data from a uh, file external file so in selenium you need to be uh, do too much work and hard work so get on make it very easy uh, there is a folder is called data file and the uh, Kotlin provide Catalan provide it and you can easily uh, do the data driven testing uh, we will see day by day in practical how to the things are work so if we talk about the cross browser and platform testing so it's a really, really easy so Catalan providing lots of support lots of browser support like uh, Chrome uh, Firefox IE Safari and Azure even you can do your custom and browser also you can create your custom browser it's providing api support also uh, you can do any api testing easily and the other thing in catalan you can do the web testing as well as mobile testing so it make it really easy so how to configure the catalan on your system so just go on the catalan.com and hit on the download button and choose your uh, operating system like here i'm using windows so i'm going to hit this if you are using mac os or linux you can go with these options so i'm going to uh, accept the download and download the 64 bit and redirect me on the other window so here i need to activate my catalan studio so there is some questions you are a programmer or i'm um, not manual tester i'm an automation tester and uh, now uh, why you are downloading to so you are going to, to learn automation test I click on submit and i think i already downloaded it so i'm going to cancel it for the time or okay i think my sign in is successfully uh, i already uh, registered here uh, if, when you are going to first time download it you need to register your email id and password so remember this thing and i already downloaded it so i'm going to cancel it and i'm just going to my catalan so here you can see the rar file this is downloaded from the catalan.com and here you need to extract it and here just click on this icon catalan application the catalan is launched previously new purely new when you launch it first time it will ask uh, about their email id and password this email id and password should be same as uh, when you insert that email id and password when you are uh, going to first time register it on their website so they will match the activation by you are using catalan and all other things so wait a second i will uh, i will uh, activate it and i will back to you okay so this is the welcome windows and there is a quick overview about the quick guide overview so there is a different different we will discuss everything what is the new spy babe and all the tools in the catalan studio just to review that guide and uh, finally close it and uh, complete quick guide okay so here is the welcome interface for the catalan and uh, Today I'm going to show in this video one demo how to uh, do that uh, Catalan uh, testing, perform test, uh, perform automation testing using Catalan. So just go in a right a new file and click on new and project and create a new project demo my Catalan first project. You can say my Catalan first project. There will be project name and. Uh, 
description it's optional you can do this is for testing and click on ok so it will generate a great great interface and great project for you okay so project is here test cases object repository test just suit uh, checkpoint keywords test listeners and okay, so create a new test case so right click on test case and uh, it will be test case one and uh, here there is a three option like uh, script mode manual mode and record mode so i'm going to use first record mode and i'm going to show you a demo uh, so Catalan provide a demo auto.catalan.com the website to automate and uh, for learning purpose so we will just going to use it and here you can select any browser like chrome or i uh, and so i'm going to select the chrome and just click on that browser button and it will automatically redirect on this url so just wait a second uh, wait for to load the url and you can see here yeah. okay so the url is loaded already and uh, now whatever operation we are going to perform here in this uh, open this uh, browser it will be recorded automatically like first time to click on this button and it's called um, make appointment and here I need to insert some data like username so the username is John Doy and this is not a password and so I'm going to just copy paste this data and paste sorry that's control C and control V so not it's not allow me to do that uh, right copy paste so I said manually the password will be this is not a password when I click on the login button it will redirect to make appointment so whatever activity i'm going to select here like this it will record it automatically apply then medical and uh, comment this demo i'm not going to select any date so book appointment so it will give me an error you need to insert in something and uh, finally i'm going to log out it so it will all the activities are recorded here this is this, these are the objects so I'm going to stop my recording and uh, click on OK. So it will ask me to store that object in a folder. So I'm going to use this new folder and uh, just book appointment book. Inside this book folder, I'm going to store my object. So here is an object repository inside the book object. There is all the objects are available. And it will automatically create that uh, test cases for you manually and as well as uh, script wise also. In upcoming tutorial, we will see how to modify that script and how to generate that script uh, by writing the code and we will for how to perform that operation manually also. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you just demo how the catalog is work and how the beautiful is catalog. So just going to run that uh, my test case, it's all about and it's done. So here I need to select a browser from where and which browser I'm going to run this. Uh, there is a lots of options like Chrome, Firefox, i, Safari, Edge, uh, even Android, and we can custom over on browsers. So for demo browser, I'm just selecting that uh, uh, Chrome browser and the script is going to be run. So just check the activities so first load this click on book appointment and it will type all the passwords here you can see the log also inside the log the first operation is done open browser and navigate to URL yeah let's log in and you can see the automation here log out and done so test ticket is execute uh, successfully and uh, this is the catalog uh, when this work if you are going to uh, write in the uh, 
selenium so we will do lots of hard work and we'll do uh, configuration we need a lot of configuration and we need to uh, write a hard code um, so Catlon make it very easy uh, so thank you so much for watching in our next video we will show uh, one by one how to do mobile testing and uh, web api web testing and api testing in uh, Catlon studio and we'll discuss about the, all the features about the Catlon like what is spybev and uh, a mobile spy and all the data files how to do different different operation and if you like please subscribe and for the theory notes i will provide the link in description box you can check there